Are you tired of your iPhone XS ear speaker sounding like a dying robot or having no sound at all? Well, have no fear, because in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to replace the faulty ear speaker without risking the loss of Face ID. Before we begin, we want to remind you to watch the entire video before attempting it yourself. So grab a cup of tea, sit back, and let's get started. First things first, let's remove those pesky pentalobe screws at the bottom of the phone. Next, grab your trusty razor blade and insert it into the gap between the screen bezel and the metal chassis of the phone. Gently pry up to create a small gap like you're trying to sneak a peek at the inner workings of the phone. Now, take a plastic prying tool like an iFixit guitar pick and insert it into the small gap that you've just created. Work your way around the edges, separating the screen assembly from the chassis. With the screen now released, gently lift the bottom and wiggle the phone lightly from side to side and open up the phone like you would open the back cover of a book. Now that we're inside the phone, we need to remove the five screws holding down this shield. There are four Y000 tri-wing screws and one Phillips 000 crosshead screw in the middle of the shield. Keep those in a safe place like a magnetic mat. With the screws out of the way, use the tweezers to lift the shield. Now, it's important to isolate the power from the device before going further, so take a plastic spudger and disconnect the battery connector. Using the spudger again, disconnect the display connector, followed by the touch connector, and finally the front sensor and ear speaker connector. Now that everything is released, lift the screen away from the chassis and put the chassis to one side for later. On the back of the screen, there are three tri-wing screws at the top holding down the ear speaker. Use a screwdriver to remove them and keep them safe for later. One of the screws is hidden under some black tape, so just peel that back like a banana to reveal the screw. Now that we have access to the speaker, use tweezers to lift the cable from the speaker slightly, then take your hot soldering iron and lightly touch the solder joints to melt the solder, releasing the flex from the speaker. With the speaker freed from the flex, go ahead and throw the broken one in the bin now. Then take your new speaker from the packaging and lay it on the back of the screen where you've just removed the faulty one. Line up the solder joints with the pads on the speaker, add a little dab of flux and take your soldering iron again and solder the flex into place. The flex can be a little bit springy, so you might need to hold it in place with some tweezers while you're soldering it to get a good joint. Wipe off the excess flux with some contact cleaner on a clean room wipe, then fold the ear speaker back into its position on the back of the screen. Resecure the three screws to secure the speaker back in place and now the screen is ready to reinstall back onto the phone. Replace the dust and moisture resistant seal on the chassis of the phone and peel back the first layer. Offer up the screen to the chassis, connecting the display connector first, then the touch connector, a spudger will be really helpful for this one here, then the front sensor and speaker flex, followed by the battery connector. Reinstall the shield and the five screws. Remember that the long crosshead screw goes in the middle of the five screws. Then peel back that final thin layer of film for the dust and moisture seal. Reinstall the screen into the chassis, starting by clipping in the top of the screen, then a gentle squeeze on both sides of the screen to fully secure it. Like a puzzle, it should fit together perfectly. Finally, just the two pentalobe screws to install in the bottom, and this is ready to test. Covering the loudspeaker with your thumb, get the phone to make a sound, and you should be able to hear clearly through the ear speaker without having lost the Face ID function. Congratulations, you have just replaced the ear speaker on your iPhone XS like an absolute pro. 